Okay, so this is the last video I'm going to shoot today. Um, I've got a Kifaru stuff sack ordered, so I won't dote on this stuff sack much. It is a waterproof stuff sack made by Sea to Summit. Um, it is about basketball size right now. Keep this in mind um, because when the Kifaru stuff sack comes in, I'll redo this review or redo a review of that stuff sack. Um, it should be here in about two weeks. The main function of this one, of this uh, review though, is what's in the bag. You can see I've still got some room to compress. So let's talk about what we've got. Um, I have nothing bad to say about the Sea to Summit bags. Um, good stuff sacks. It just doesn't get quite as small as I think the other one will. This is a medium. I believe. Double check. If it's marked. It's a, I believe it's a medium, maybe a large though. Um, pretty sizable bag. Never had any moisture problems with them, but that's not not the main thing we want to talk about here. Okay, this is a Kifaru brand. Um, again, Kifaru's out of Colorado. Um, really, really good quality equipment. Holds up to about anything and everything. It's designed to work. It's designed to work well. Um, zero degree sleeping bag. <laughs> now, a lot of people will say want to know how ratings are made for sleeping bags, where they come from, how they dictate them. Um, big companies use some weird equations. Kifaru's ratings are done by the owner of the company um, sleeping in them and then letting you know how comfortable it was. So zero degree rating to Kifaru is actually going to be a zero degree rating. Um, some other really, really neat things about Kifaru, <laughs> they serialize all their equipment. Um, so on this tag here, it's sewn with pride in the U.S. It has the, the sewer's actual initials on there. Um, it's marked slick bag, zero degree, Fahrenheit, patent pending, all on it. Um, we'll start here, open it up, and it has a really nice big baffle on the side where the zipper is. So when you zip it up, fold that baffle over, you're not going to lose heat through the zipper. It is OD green on the inside, and it is coyote brown on the outside. Um, good for military personnel. One of their other main focuses is hunters. Um, it has a large draft collar. See that shape on the inside? That'll fold down around your neck when you're asleep. And then it has a multiple adjustable, see here, two poles, two pull cords to adjust the, uh, the hood. The foot box on this, and I'm not going to step into it today. My feet are muddy and I don't want to clean it just for, for this review video. The foot box is designed to be extra large so that, for military purposes, a person can climb into it with their boots on. Um, leave their boots on, climb in their bag, and rack out, so if they need to react quickly, they can. Um, other features, the they use, uh, oh, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, they use a synthetic insulation, and I can't remember which of the two big names it is. I can't remember if it's, um, if it's Prima Loft or Climate Shield. I'm pretty confident it's Climate Shield. I'll post a little scribe over this this slot, over this part of the video and let you know for sure. I, I think they use the military Climate Shield insulation, so moisture won't ruin it like it will a down bag. Um, and then they use a proprietary um, skin and liner called Rhino Skin. It's one of their their products that's wind resistant and water resistant. So. Um, this bag alone, again, rated to 30 degrees, I've slept in it, or rated to zero degrees, I've slept in it and sweat my hiney off down at 30 degrees on a cot in a, it's a large tent, no heat, um, down around 30 degrees, and just sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat and actually ended up sleeping on top of it. Um, great, great sleeping bag. This is the standard width. I'm a pretty average guy, so I don't buy things wide or long or anything like that. I'm 5'7", run about 175 pounds, um, and I have... a ample room to turn over and things inside this sleeping bag so um, wanted to get that out there let you know they make these this bag I'll post the exact weight but I know zero degree sleeping bag um, with their stuff sack when it comes in less than three pounds so it's very very comparable to some of the big name brand you know North Face uh, Mountain Hardware things like that so if you want all American made all American made textiles um, Great quality, great customer service. Check out Kifaru's stuff. Check out their sleeping bags, their whoobies, their packs.
their accessories for all their packs, um, some of their clothing lines. Great, great stuff. Great, great people. Great American company. Um, good kit to get into and get out in the woods with. Again, thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see me do. Um, post responses, comments. Feel free to email me. Um, I'm working on a blog that I've been trying to keep updated also. Um, everything revolves around the name JLJ Monkey. Um, M O N K Y, no E. Um, hopefully, here in the next little bit, I can get into a few more reviews and uh, we can we can knock out some good stuff and hopefully I get some feedback from you out there and anything that you want to see you can shoot me a note on and I'll see if I can't um, can't oblige in some way shape or form thanks a lot